Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is finding the both the perimeter and area of polygons on a coordinate plane. And as you can see, this particular polygon is rather interesting. We have a diagonal in there, and we have some other things. So my job in order to find the area is to carve this up into some pieces here. So hopefully I can find the area of uh, the bits and pieces, total them together to find a total area or add them together to find a total area. And there are other ways to solve this. I'm sure there are lots of different ways um, or strategies involved here or methods. But And then we're going to actually write an expression that can be used to determine the area. But I'm going to write the expression after the fact, and you'll see why in a moment. So first things first, I need to start uh, carving this guy up. So let's see. Uh, I see this triangle, this, this diagonal right over here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to isolate the triangle right away it's a right triangle. I have now a base and a height. I can find the area of that. There's my height of one, two, three, four, five. I have a height of five. I have a base two, three, four, five. I have a base of five. So I can find the area of that. I'm pretty good with that. Now I see this big old rectangle with this piece that's right below the triangle. So what I'm going to do is let's see if I if I put it, draw a line down this way. I now have two rectangles which is cool. One is going up high here. All right, this guy here, that's a rectangle. And I have what's left here is another rectangle right over here. Okay, maybe if I use a different color for each of them, we can see what it is I'm doing here. Let's do blue. The first guy, okay, let's call him rectangle A. Make that stand out a little bit. Okay, and we'll keep green for B, and C will be my triangle, and let's make him red so we can see all these different shapes. Okay, so what I want to do is find the area of each of these three, and then combine those areas. So in a little section over here, I'll just make this A, and A is a rectangle. So let me find the dimensions here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a base of eight or a length of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have a width of seven. So it is indeed a rectangle. So length times width, okay, is my formula. So we have a length of eight and we have a width of seven. And I multiply those, I have 56 units squared. So I'm gonna put a little squiddly over there to separate that. And we'll change colors. Let's do everything. Ooh, we're going to make everything look nice here today. So we have B. Here's another rectangle. And I need those dimensions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. So I have a length of 5 and a width of 8. So area, once again, since it's a rectangle, it's length times width. Uh, area is going to equal 5 times 8. And that gives me a total of 40 units squared, okay? And then comes part C, which I believe is red, yes. Part C is a triangle, so we're going to take half of the base and the height, okay? And where that's coming from is the, the half of the rectangle it would create. So this is a 5 by 5, and I need that triangle, which is half of that. So one half equals five times five, which gives me 25, okay, which is one half of 25 will be 12 and a half units squared. So I have this guy here, okay, I have this guy here. Now to find my, to and this guy here, to find my total, okay, so total area. It's going to equal all of these. So my 56 plus my 40 plus my 12 and a half. Okay, and if I add those together, 56, 40, 12 and one half. Okay, I get my one half here and I have eight over here and I have nine and 10. So 110 units squared is my area. There it is, okay. So total area, there they are. Now I need to find the perimeter. Now the perimeter is my distance around. 
Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is just count up all the little, um, all the little blocks, units all around the shape. Oh, I just erased all this wonderful stuff. Oh well, no big deal. Let's use red. So let's start on the top here. So one. Um, actually, no, I can't find the perimeter of this. I know I'm not going to bother with the perimeter on this guy because my diagonal is a bit of a disaster here. All right, so forget the perimeter on this guy. We'll do perimeter on another one. Uh, the expression, though, I do want to deal with. So the expression, I like doing the expression because if you do a nice job with the formula, the expression works out pretty well. And the expression, I always tell the kids, use the second line. Use the second line of all the areas that you formed here or that you calculated and put them together. So this is an addition problem. We're adding all of these, so my total area, okay, is going to be, now I'm going to use big parentheses here, it's going to be my 8 times my 7, right, I'm using this, okay, close that off, added to, open up another one, my 1 half, excuse me, nope, not yet, my 5 times my 8, right, from the second set right here, okay, close that off, and add that to, now here comes my triangle. Add that to my 1 half, and that is a 5 times 5. 5 times 5, and close that off. And again, they're being added together. So take those lines, the second lines, and um, show uh, how to find those out, which is addition in this case, OK? So that's that. Nice problem. Now, I did want to use, talk to you about perimeter as well. Let's back up here a little bit. Perimeter. Ah, so here's a good one with perimeter. I won't bother finding the area, but let's draw it out anyway. If I were to find the area for this one, I think I would definitely cut this guy over here, and I'd probably cut this guy over here at the same time. So I would have an, an A, a B area, and a C area to find my areas. But for the perimeter, though, it's just a matter of counting all the all the units all the way around the shape. Let's use green. So this would be a two. And don't forget all these little buggers. So here's one, two right here, one, two, three, four, five, six right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is here, one, two, three, four, five, which is here, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, which is here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen which is here, and I think I have them all. And all I'm going to do is add them up. So I have a 13, and I have a 7, and a 6, and a couple of 2s, right? And a 9, a 5, and a 14. Right? A 9, a 5, and a 14. Now I'm just going to count them up, make sure I have the right amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That works, now I'm going to add things up. Okay, let me put a little line through there so I don't mess that up. So let's see what I can do here. So I have, let's see, a, a 13 right there with this 13, that gives me a 26. And what do I have left here? Oh, I have a four, which is right there. So that 26 is going to become a 30. And then I have, what do I have left? A nine and a five and a 14. I'm just kind of combining things, having some fun here. Oh, I have a 14 right here, so I have a 13, a 30 plus a 14 plus a 14. My 14s can combine. That gives me 28, and if I combine those guys, I have 58 units. Now remember, this is not units squared; it's just units, right? Because it's just a straight distance. But that's my perimeter, so I'll put a p equals. Okay. Well, that's the deal, folks. All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye.